What's going on guys? So in today's video, we're going to be checking out Motofab Lift's answer to your leveling kit needs for your Sierra and Silverados. So for anyone new, this is my 2018 Chevy Silverado and I've been running a Motofab leveling, three inch leveling kit for about two years now, over 20,000 miles. And so this is just the block spacer. This is the biggest one you can get right there, three inch leveling kit. And as you can see, it raises the truck quite a lot. And these are 22 by 12 and 33s. They barely rub a little bit right here. Ateros do run a little small. I'm just throwing this all in there so everyone gets a full grasp of what's going on for anyone new. Um, I do have some aftermarket control upper control arms made by Ready Lift. I have enjoyed them. I will be upfront and honest about that. I have enjoyed them and not had any issues out of them. Um, but these are definitely on the more expensive side, I think they were close to about $500 um, for these. Big issue with the stock ones when running two and a half, but mainly a three inch or bigger. This stamp steel um, upper control arm that is factory, this will actually pop out of here. This will pop out of the uh, upper control arm, this ball joint wheel. And it not fully give you the Kachow mod, but it definitely will uh, it make your tire fall out to the side um, or inside. And so that's a big issue with these factory ones. So you definitely want to run an aftermarket good upper control arm to correct the angles and be strong enough to ensure that you're not going to have a ball joint go doing the Kachow mod on you. So they did see the video on the truck that I made talking about taking the three inch leveling kit off and going down a little bit because... A three inch leveling kit is very big and I just wanted to drop it down a little bit, get the angles better, get the truck riding as good as possible. So the first thing was I requested a two and a half inch leveling kit that at some point we will replace my three inch with a two and a half. This is apparently the version two of their upper control arms. Motofab MF, you need to throw an L on there and we'll be freaking set. There we go. All right, so right off the bat, good Lord, these things are beefy these things have got some serious weight to them so i do like this this actually helps with keeping your alignment keeps the arms all um, happy so it doesn't slip out of alignment i think these are all moog ball joints which you know mixed reviews on moog certain people think certain things but as you can see just from there look at that how much correction that's going to give so this is made for the two and a half and three inch let's go ahead and put this next to our factory one and you can just absolutely see you see how high this is mounted as well as the arch and then you see how this is angled so that our angles are going to be flat at our ball joint and yet keep it happy up top whereas this it's got this tiny little dent and then this so whenever you run in the three inch it's literally like all the way out and it's literally like whenever you hit a bump or something it can be maxing out this and that's what can cause a real bad issue and i uh, can get you in a lot of trouble so this looks actually really really good um it appears to be very high quality it's it's beefy welds look pretty good i mean it looks solid it feels solid that's for sure all powder coated or whatever like i said i do have the ready lift ones on here already but they are really expensive if you look at them i mean they're pretty good i haven't had any issues out of it no real complaints with them I would say these feel even more beefy than those are, and uh, I like the texture of these a lot better. Um, we'll have to see, you know, as far as longevity, I don't know because I haven't installed them, obviously. All right, so we're on Motofab's website right here, and as you can see, you can get literally a 3-inch front leveling kit, the rear block, and these upper control arms for $450, $449.99. Like, that is... That's legit right there. So coming down here, or it looks like you can buy them by themselves. They've got them down at $284.99. But legitimately, three inch leveling kit with two inch blocks, which that would even be bigger than this because this is just factory rear. So with that, you would actually be raising the rear an inch or two. For 500 bucks, you'd do the installation yourself, whatever, then that's all the money you have, plus a $100 alignment or something. Um, pay a shop, maybe a couple hundred bucks you're still looking at under a thousand dollars for a pretty sweet setup so i'm not going to be installing these right away i've got a couple different suspension changes i want to do with the truck have fun with it like that and then i'm going to be installing this and it's going to be a really good full setup fresh nice i think it's going to be absolutely great i think it's going to ride better than this i think it's going to look just as good and for the time being i've still got the three inch motofab leveling kit on it now and i still do love this kit but being on YouTube, I want to change it up. So we're doing a different suspension setup here shortly. And then down the road, we're going to be installing all of this and really seeing how it is. But if you do want to see currently how it is on the truck, go over to 
John Wargo, he installed, I think the same thing, maybe the version one upper control arms, but he has a two and a half inch leveling kit on his truck with this and it is installed. So if you wanna see the longevity of it, currently right now, he is running it and I'm sure he'll do an update video when he gets a certain amount of miles on it or something and let y'all know how he feels about it. But um, yeah, if you wanna see currently that installed and how it's doing, go over and check out his channel. I think it looks absolutely amazing, feels absolutely amazing. I think these are gonna be a really, really solid option and a much more affordable option than some of these other upper control arms leveling kit combos. I'll put a link to their website in the description. So thanks a lot to MotoFab for sending me this out. I'm definitely gonna be installing it and definitely gonna be using it at some point. Um, definitely go over, check out their Instagram, their website, buy you something if you want to. Um, if not, wait. I'll install these at some point if you want to wait for that maybe uh, see how good they do because um, this is a new product and you know sometimes you just want to let someone else test it out but I'm definitely going to at some point but uh, yeah big shout out to them still enjoying my three inch leveling kit but it's pretty cool for them to reach out and send me all this stuff and then I can share it with y'all as well so that's pretty much it for checking out the Motofab suspension parts but for anyone that wants to know how to change your oil I'm about to do that because I am past due on doing it and so I'm gonna do a quick little how-to. So if you wanna see that, stick around. If not, I'll catch you in the next video, but let's go ahead and uh, change our oil. Yes, I'm still running the V4 module. Make sure your truck's all warmed up so the oil can flow out. 15 mil, ah, there we go. Ah. Amazing how easy things work when you have the correct tools. Yeah, that didn't go well. <laughs> All right, so feel free to roast me in the comments if this is an absolute garbage oil filter. I don't know. They had a special going on at Advance Auto. This oil is pretty expensive, and they had a good deal going on where you could get this for discounted price with the oil filter. So I was like, screw it. We're just we're gonna run it. So. Looks pretty good. The guy said it was good, but you know, take what they say with a many, many grains of salt. Um, always ensure, check in there, make sure there's not any craziness because I had one like that before when I was changing the oil in my Mustang. But, I mean, it looks like a good filter. Whatever, we're going to do it. So let's go ahead and you want to get it right down in the center. You don't really want to get it on the outside, uh, those outside holes. And then you want to put some on the seal so that it can seal up good. This is 0W20. Valvoline full synthetic it is Dexas. Um, this is just what I choose to run. I've had good luck with it and I enjoy it. So, but I do comment down below if you have an, a genuine factual opinion on the Pure Later Boss filter, not just a my uncle's cousin's grandma's girlfriend told me that they suck. Let her soak it up. That way you don't have a dry start when you first crank it. We'll go ahead and slap that baby in slap that baby in get our drain plug back in and then start to putting it in you know the engine I'm, i can't speak today go ahead and put our drain bolt back in i know some people say they replaced this or replaced the seal eh never really done that and clean off this before we put the new one back on there or on there we didn't put it and take it off so we're not putting it back anywhere we're putting it around the rim of this so this seal can make a good seal you don't have to put this on ridiculously tight I messed up and just got oil all over the outside so it's gonna be almost impossible for me to put it on there real tight anyways nice and snug all right now we just want to clean off all this wait We'll know if there is any liquid. It's from a leak. And I also want to show you all this. I just spotted. There's a rock right there. I don't know how in the world a rock got up in there, but uh, it's out now. All right, so let's grab our oil, grab a funnel. I've only got this little bitty one, so it's going to take forever to fill this up. Um, it does take eight quarts. But if you remember, we probably got about a half a quart in the filter. So I'm going to go ahead and throw seven in there now. And then that'll give us about seven and a half. We'll crank it up, let it run for a little bit, let it settle. See how it goes, because you might not always get all the oil out there. And you don't want to overfill these. All 
right, so probably the easiest way to get everything right. Put that full jug in there if you get to the big 4.7 or whatever these are. Yeah, 4.73. Um, and then just go ahead and pour two into this one, and that makes it a lot easier to keep track of it rather than having to check while you pour this one. Boom, right on the money right there. So we'll do the scary first crank up. I don't know why it's scary, but it always is. And let it run for a minute and then check it. That's the two last things to do. Let's go in here. Yes, the hood's open. Scroll down to your oil life. 30% check mark right here. Hold it down. Oh my gosh. Okay, it still worked. 100%. All right. Now we just need our owner's manual. So in the back of your owner's manual, you've got all these lines, and that's where I keep up with my oil changes. So I think it is 222. Uh, 20 yeah 02 22 20 <laughs> um, Valvoline 0 W20 uh, we had the uh, what kind of filter was it pure later boss 26 513 26 513 and that way you can keep up put your receipts in there that way you have proof as long as you're running the right oil the right intervals with receipts Warranty should still be fine. All right, so I ended up going back, adding about another half a quart, and it is perfect now. So hopefully you did enjoy this oil change, and another big shout out to Motofab for sending me out everything, and I'm definitely gonna be using it in the future. Um, I'm about to wash this turd, and I'm not gonna punish y'all through that. So with that being said, hopefully you did enjoy. I don't know why I did that. I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs> How to get a thumbnail 101. Tried setting the camera up, taking a photo on the timer me holding them up looked completely stupid so when in doubt whip the tra tractor tires out and i just can't speak dude be butchering stuff when in doubt whip the tractor tires out was that that hard to say no if y'all could just see the outtakes how many times i have to redo everything <laughs> it's laughable how many times i have to refilm stuff so i don't sound completely stupid not really stupid but just freaking stuttering Anyhow, hopefully some, something like this looks pretty good for a thumbnail.